Hello, hello, how fabulous to have you. So thank you for joining me. Today I'm gonna to talk about a technique that you'll wanna have in your pocket as you get ready for the holidays. <laughs> and if we haven't met yet, my name is Irina Miller and I teach time-strapped adventurers how to tap into their unseen resources. And what does that mean? That means knowing that you're not alone and that you don't have to struggle and fight to get to the last donut on the table or you feel like, oh, you're missing out. But there are ways to really tune into your environment and to get into the flow so that you feel abundant and joyful. And this technique is going to help you do it. Because let's face it, holiday parties can add a lot of stress to your plate, whether you're hosting Thanksgiving or another party coming up in the months to come or if you're just simply wanting to clear the space and transition from fall towards winter what can you do to help your space feel really good because did you ever notice you know sometimes all the stress that goes into getting ready for the party, cooking the food, the people arrive, and you feel all stressed and discombobulated. And then there are those awkward moments, or maybe you invited someone and, and they've had a rift with someone else, or there's miscommunication, which we really want to watch the communication because Mercury goes retrograde this Friday, November 16th. And it's going to be a doozy from what I hear. So double check all of your times, your appointments, re, um, reassess and reaffirm. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically say it again, repeat it. That's the word. Thank you. <laughs> repeat your information, you know, just to confirm that you're on track and that you're on the same page. So what can you do to clear the air? Well, this is a fantastic technique that you can do before and after. And it's fun and it's very holiday-like for the season, very appropriate. It's the bells, the tingsha bells here. Now these particular tingsha bells I love just because they come from a wonderful tradition and they have very sacred symbols on them that I can get into over time. But for now, the purpose is that you know, all right, if I wanna clear the air to make the party feel good, like maybe you were stressing getting everything ready beforehand, or maybe the party was, somebody was a little awkward with one another, or you're exhausted, and you wanna get everybody's energy out of your space. Because if you've had a lot of people in your home, they're gonna leave their vibes behind to a certain degree. You're gonna remember conversations, you're gonna remember joyful moments, you're gonna maybe remember that moment like where politics or religion came up. <laughs> <laughs> you want to clear the air so you can sleep well and really just feel like, oh, this is my space. Get everybody else's energy out. So with the tingsha bells, what you can do, you can start in the center of the room and you just ring. Aha, nice and simple. How easy is this? And you get such a pretty sound. And if the bell ring nice and clear like that, then you know, okay, the energy is pretty good in this spot. So you go to another spot, let's say over by the couch or the sofa where people were talking and you ring it and you can just kind of, ah, just move intuitively. Now, if you get to a spot and the bells don't get that clear sound, it's kind of like a, a clink or a clunk, then you know, okay, something's off in the energy there. So you stay there and you just, Ring again until you get that clear sound. And you make your way all the way around the room from the center out to the edges. And then it's nice if you can work your way towards a window or a door. And this is a very, very simple, sweet, easy technique you can do in a matter of moments and feel the space afterwards. It's gonna feel a world difference. If you don't have tingsha bells, no worries. You can always, there's um, wonderful bells you can get, you know, like jingle bells. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that Jingle Bells will quite do it. The Tibetan bowls, the wonderful bowls they have. There are other bells out there. But check it out. Give it a try. And if nothing else, you can always put on a good piece of music and dance your heart out to help clear the vibes and get your energy back into the space and everybody else is out. So thank you for joining me. If you'd like to continue the conversation, check out the links above or below in the description. I'd love to have you continue on, on this adventure with me. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye guys, lots of love.